guys, gals, to all who come to this happy place, we changed our plans tonight. We literally were on our way to Magic Kingdom. We got, got good fast passes. Yeah, we got taken away by the allure of the Grand Floridian. We decided it's so beautiful. We walked past the, the, they were roasted marshmallows and they invited us in and Nick was talking to us, the recreations cast member here and like, we're just looking around eating these marshmallows and we're like, you know what? Let's just hang out here tonight. Yeah. We, we realized we have not hung out at this beach. There's a family over there who have the chairs, but once they leave, we're gonna, we're gonna snatch them. There's Tarzan playing later, which I haven't watched Tarzan in years. Yeah. We're gonna watch fireworks maybe from the shore. Yeah. Listen to piano player, maybe listen to doo-wop music. Right just, in the night at the Grand Floridian. Just having a relaxing night. I love it, like, when the sun is setting and the blue skies. Are you happy? I'm super happy. And I got a coffee. Having a relaxing evening, I figured uh, I'd add a little bit more context to this, this vlog today, and I'm gonna tell you five things that you don't know about me. What? We'll do Sarah's this later. Is so off the cuff. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm gonna say. Um, one of the things, my parents and sisters moved to Ecuador for a short period of time back in 2012. I had a Siberian Husky named Sergei, named after Sergei Grinkov, the figure skater, growing up. I had back surgery, like, we've shown, you probably have seen my scar in the videos, but I had back surgery in sophomore year of high school for scoliosis. Fun fact, I had a 65 degree curvature. Google that if, unless you have anybody who has suffered scoliosis or kyphosis. I grew almost two inches in 12 hour surgery. That was pretty rough. But the funny thing is, Sarah remembers more stuff about me than I do. So I'm like struggling over her. She probably has like 16 different things to say. Your grandparents live? Oh, my grandparents live in near Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. My grandfather was a Marine forever and ever. Um, oh, I think it was my uncle who went further back. My uncle and my mom went through like a weird, this is number five. Uh, went through like a weird stint of like a long, long time research for genealogy. genealogy and one of them, I think it was my uncle though, so mom, sorry if it's you, um, traced back our family, our German history, all the way back to the early 1700s in New York. So, if you know your American history, that means one of my ancestors came from Germany to America before this country was a country. There are five absolutely useless facts about Peter Bryan Rookhart. Six, if you didn't know that. <laughs> we literally have been chilling out here on the cozy beach for what, like an hour now? It's pretty darn luxurious. It is. Now we're going to go inside and get a good spot for um, the pianist. Sing us the song! It's funny because he never sings that song. I hope it's the guy that usually is, is here. But I also gotta show you, Sarah, can you show them my butt? Sarah grabbed these seats and I think she got, I think it was a karma on me or potentially on purpose by Sarah for me not coming to help her get the chairs. It was not on purpose. It's gonna be nice and chilly on the inside of this lobby. <laughs> you can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly. Doesn't it smell like Christmas in here? It does. I don't know what it is. I definitely washed my hands at Basin before we leave. Um, wait, we don't know what time the movie starts, right? There's also Tarzan playing. There's all the good stuff happening. 
People are checking in, it's our favorite. That cast member is explaining the resort to them. How much fun, hey, you're not supposed to be playing. The piano player's supposed to be playing. Let's get a good spot. We did it. We got our favorite spot. The camera currently is focused on the ghost that's hanging out right here in this chair. Are you, are you ready with them? No. Alright, we'll be back momentarily with Sarah's five random facts. Five facts, go. Oh gosh. One. One. Your parents were high school sweethearts. My parents were high school sweethearts. They met in high school. <laughs> That's the definition of a high school sweetheart? Yes. My dad is two years old. I had a super bad complication to chicken and I was in second grade, and it was so bad that even when I did my blood work, like recently in my doctor, it could still show how immune I am to chicken pox. It's called cerebellum ataxia, and I couldn't walk. I totally lost my balance. You were almost paralyzed. I was almost paralyzed. It could have, like, they said some people never, like, grow out of it, but thankfully after bed rest, I was good. My family has lunch together every single Wednesday. We call it Wednesday lunch. I have had glasses since I was seven years old, and I got contacts in seventh grade. And when you first got glasses, you didn't know that bricks were bricks. Yeah, I like, I was, my older sister had to leave my appointment because it was like so sad how terrible I was at all the tests. So even when I was little, I knew that I wanted to be a cast member because I think on our second trip, like you could get cast member name tags as a souvenir that said Sarah on it, or say it, said your name or whatever. So they only sold Sarahs. You had you had to carry a cast member name tag, even if your name was Bob. starting soon I hear the electrical water pageant and they actually don't have the screen set up where they usually do it's usually on this grass here but I guess oh I found it it's right over here found ya I found Tarzan I like it over here rather than over there where my cocoa can be darker yeah and it's more secluded yeah yes and this is wonderful and we got kettle corn <laughs> We had to get closer. We had to get so much closer because the family that was off center and not close, like everybody sat really far back. So now that that family left, we got to go center and closer. So great. Um, just so you guys know, the fireworks are definitely intruding on the movies. And just like that, Tarzan is over. We forgot to tell you that there's a secret top, or five things you didn't know that we're gonna do still. What? I don't even know what it is. Five things that you guys didn't know about you. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got to say? What do we got to say? Um, you guys are awesome. They know that. Alright, you guys have clocked in over six years worth of view time on all of our vlogs, which is literally insane. So that's one. Yeah. Some of you have been watching us for over two years yeah. because of our previous channel, the Fab 527. 
which still has a lot of trip vlogs on it. Mm -hmm. So if you're ever like need your brook cart fix and a little something different, but more 100% parks and resorts, yeah. go back to the Fab Five Two Hundred Seven. Mm -hmm. um, three is I never thought that like you guys would interact as much with us doing this. And that's been awesome, and we yeah. love that between everything, Facebook, comments, Twitter, all the goods. Four, we really don't talk about it much, but we did just hit 3,000 subscribers. Yeah, which is a thank pretty you. Milestone. That's pretty awesome. That's never, incredible. Never thought that would happen. Yeah. Five's gotta be a good one. Five is something that we take pride in. We find that we haven't made a big group of friends down here like we we have gotten many friends from living down here but we find that we spend more time like hanging out with people that we've met through the channel talking with people um, interacting with folks that are down here and want to see us so that's kind of like a, a unique thing about you guys is that you've become our friends yeah there you go five things you didn't know about you and now I think we gotta go, uh, time to go home. Because we are heavily increasing our home vlog game slowly but surely. We're home already, it's 11. We'll probably call it an earlier night than yesterday because Sarah fell asleep on the ground. I went to, we went to sleep around like one in the morning, I think. We'll probably go to sleep earlier, but I wanted to tell you guys, first of all, we got our lease agreement, our renewal, not happy with it. Gotta figure all that out. Um, but a couple things. We're home. We're gonna watch Queer Eye for the Straight. Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Is it still called that? It's just called Queer Eye. Okay. We're gonna watch Queer Eye season two. And we went to Walgreens to pick up some things, and then we had a deal. What are you shaking your head for? But we gotta be true to the vlog. So if we're gonna drink this at night, we need to show you guys, cause that's who we are. So we finished Queer Eye. There was only like 30 minutes of the last episode left. I didn't realize Sarah had gone through the entire second season already, but she just did. What'd you think of it? I loved it, loved it, loved it! You gotta watch more. So we gotta tell you something that we're doing. Like six months ago, after we got settled, after moving here, we did a big purge, if you, any of you remember, clothes. of clothes. And we did great. We got rid of like maybe 12 bags of donation between the two of us. Because you had like eight or nine, and I had probably three or four. Yeah. So we had a lot of clothes. Why we did that after we moved and not before, no sir. I don't know. But we've been thinking and toying around with many ideas, and one of them, oh, all based around one idea, is that we're going to do another purge, but it's going to be like our physical properties, which is huge because we said before, like, we, we give attention to everything, and everything we own has a story behind it. We've had it for so long. This December will be 10 years since we started dating. And we literally, even though we were 16 when we started dating, we like knew that we were gonna be together forever, so we started collecting some of our stuff. Then, we need to perch. We need to clean, because look at this. Like, why do we need this? Too many jackets. We already downsized jackets, but we got a whole closet full of jackets. This is our coffee table. We got books, because we never got a bookshelf after I broke it after the first move. More books. Here is our second bedroom closet. All this stuff is not seasonal stuff. Back there, there's seasonal stuff, like Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving stuff. This is just stuff. And like I said, we care about it all. There's purpose, there's stories, there's or there is organization, it's not messy. Um, it's just a lot. And I don't think we need it. Do we need it? No. Not all of it, we need some of it. I was trying to think of a, a song about saying goodnight or goodbye. Can't think of it. It's good to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.